just wow, there is, there is so much, so much with this episode and I'm so happy. Okay, there's too much to talk about, so let's, this, this, um, organisation. So, first... I just have to say, it is an amazing episode. It was pulled off. I didn't think it would be pulled off, but it was pulled off perfectly. There was emotion, pain, anger. Just just so many things that work so beautifully in this episode. But I'm going to run down some of them. I'm just, I'm just a bit of a mess. Because I was crying so much at so many of the scenes. And by the way, this is going to contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode, please watch the episode before you listen to this video. Let's get started properly. Okay, so... Just, just the chemistry, firstly, between Missy and the Doctor, it starts to intensify more. Um, it just, it starts to get, you start to feel, do you know what, she might actually be on the Doctor's side. And she might actually change for the better. But then it kind of gets undermined and it just, it just, it just becomes a blah of mess and absolute upset. Constant battle between Missy and herself, himself. And it's it's great to see the chemistry between jo uh, John Sim. It's just it's just amazing, and I love watching it. I loved watching it. I love watching the one of the first scenes where he has the Doctor. <laughs> he has the Doctor in the wheelchair again, like way back in the old series with Tennant, and just like taking him forwards and showing him the world, the world he's created. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I wanted to see a sing-song sequence like he did in the old episode, which is not really shown anymore for some reason. But there was that one scene where he's dancing around with the Doctor in the wheelchair and he's just having a great time. But either way, this was still pulled off brilliantly. And there was a lot of homage to other episodes. There was a lot of homage to the companions in the past. And I actually think um, Bill's character was played beautifully in this episode. The way she expressed the emotions, the anger, how she was trying to come to terms with this transformation and just how they did the, the spl uh, split kind of screen in a sense back and forth between her being a Cyberman and uh, her being Bill and that was just beautiful. Such a great way, like, I really felt so attached and I really wanted her to have that hope of, of coming back from this and I knew, I knew in my heart she wouldn't because she can't because her parts are everywhere. But just oh, Paul in this episode, he, the emotions he brought across, the emotions of trying to trying to give faith and hope to people, and the best part I'd say in this whole episode, the best part is when he's talking to Missy and the Master, and he's asking them for help, and he's like, "I don't do this to win. I don't do this to be better. I don't do this for anyone else. I just do this to be nice." And he tries to convince both of them, and it's just it's just so sad because. The older, the older, more angrier, psychotic uh, master, the master is more like, I didn't listen to a word you said. It brings tears to your eyes. It's like he's trying so hard. And it was just, it was just beautifully done. Uh, side characters also, they started to get more of a kind of uh, emotional in investment from me. I thought there was going to be regeneration. I hope there would be a regeneration in this episode, but I know... I was like hoping, I was like, I know it's going to happen at Christmas, but I hope it's not at Christmas, but but it is at Christmas. Because at the end we saw the best thing with Peter Capaldi not wanting to go in his character, not wanting to regenerate again, not wanting to become another face and being someone else and just kind of just stopping himself from regenerating several times before he is encountered by the Doctor himself, a Doctor Doctor episode, which I'm so looking forward to. They've done a few of these, um, but at the same time, I always get so excited when I see them again. I'm like, oh, two Doctors in the same room, that's brilliant. Um, yeah. <laughs> there was a uh, really nice scene with uh, the Doctor being, the name being said over and over again. And then we have Rose, we have Martha, we have, uh, God, I'm just trying to think of all the names, all the companions, Sarah Jane, all coming back to his head. But on the side note, along that, the way Bill died was just absolutely beautiful. And it was done with such, such a nice, not nice, but it was done in such a lovely way. Just her being obviously sad because she's seen the Doctor and then, and then meeting that girl from one of the first episodes with the tears. And just kind of the two of them going off into the universe and, and helping the Doctor and just finding peace. And the fact she can be like, you can still be changed into a human again if you'd like but just just this 
this beautiful way for her to go as a companion and I think this is one of the better ones they did with a companion because a lot of the time the companion forgets or or is erased or, or left with absolute tragedy whereas this one was just this kind of it was an episode about letting go and having having I think having a fight between who you are or who you used to be and just finally letting go of that like we had that between Missy and the master trying to finally let go of who they used to be and then we have the battle of the doctor trying to it's just the just the constant friction between trying to be a new person and trying to be a better person over being the old person so we have that with everyone and it was a great episode I'm really looking forward to the Christmas episode and I'm so happy with this episode he did a great job writing it and I look forward to doing more reviews when the next series comes out. Really looking forward to it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas or what you thought about the episode, please tell me below. Because I want to talk about it. I want to talk about the tear fest and sadness and all of that. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. -bye.